welcome back to another video from Chan27. In this video, we will show about 10 most amazing, impressive, powerful, and advanced crane technology selected from Crane of the Day Episode 11 to Episode 20. First crane is Sapem 7000. The Sapem 7000, originally named the Mycoperry 7000, was conceived in the mid 1980s by its original owners Mycoperry as a multi purpose offshore oil platform installation vessel that would be able to install very large oil production platform decks as well as the decks supporting structures using its two very large fully revolving cranes. It would also be able to support the offshore completion of the platform by providing hotel and workshop facilities for large construction crews. Saturation diving facilities would support subsea connection work. The vessel's size and semi-submersible form would allow it to operate in worse weather conditions than smaller and conventionally shaped vessels. With its state-of-the-art JLA tower, upgraded dynamic positioning capability and fast ballasting system, the Sapem 7000 semi-submersible crane vessel has the capacity to handle the entire work scope of offshore construction developments worldwide, encompassing pipelaying in water depths greater than 2,000 meters and heavy lift operations up to 14,000 tons. Next crane is Sarin's SGC 250. Sarin's SGC 250 is the one of largest ring type cranes in the world. This crane has a maximum load moment of 250,000 metric tons, allowing it to lift an astonishing 5,000 tons. Even at a larger radius of 100 meters, it can lift an amazing 2,000 tons. This crane was launched at the port of Ghent, in Belgium on 9th of November, 2018. The SGC 250 is impressive flexibility. The crane's main boom can be extended from 118 meters to 160 meters and the jib can be extended up to 100 meters. This combination provides an incredible height of about 250 meters or an equally astonishing radius of 275 meters. This flexibility guarantees that whatever combination clients need, we can build it all on a double ring design with an outer diameter of no more than 48.5 meters. Next crane is Liebherr LTM 1750. The Liebherr LTM 1750 9.1 is wide range of uses with powerful boom systems. This crane has a maximum lifting capacity of 800 metric tons. The maximum main boom length for this crane is 52 meters, and maximum hoist height is 152 meters, with maximum boom radius is 116 meters. The 9-axle LTM 1750 9.1 can carry its complete telescopic boom for driving on public roads. Due to its high lifting capacities and variable room system, it can cover a wide range of jobs in industry, infrastructure, and the energy sector. The crane achieves significant increases in lifting capacity using its Y guying. The all-terrain crane is designed to ensure particularly short setup times and maximum mobility. The extensive comfort and safety equipment, such as lifting capacity table for various wind speeds, round off the concept for the LTM 1750 9.1. Since 2020, there has been an 800 tons upgrade available, which makes this mobile crane significantly more powerful. Next crane is Tadano AC 7.450-1. The Tadano AC 7.450-1 has a maximum lifting capacity of 450 tons. This crane when first launching was under the Demag's name, which is Demag AC 450-7. But after then Tadano take over Demag and rename it under Tadano's name. This AC 7.450-1 is compact like a 6-axle crane, powerful like many 8-axle units. 
with a carrier length of 15.9 meters, a total length of 17.6 meters, and an outrigger base of 8.4 meters, this crane does not take up more space than a six-axle crane at the job site. However, it offers significantly larger lifting capacities and a longer main boom that comes in at 80 meters. All seven axles on the AC 7.450 are steered, and four of them are driven. This makes the crane so maneuverable that it can handle tight work sites at least as well as a six-axle model. With its fully telescoped 80 meters main boom, this crane reaches lifting capacities of up to 25 tons. If the main boom's length is not sufficient, it can, for example, be extended with a luffing jib with a maximum length of 81 meters. The crane's maximum system length is 132 meters. The luffing jib can be divided up in 3 meter segments from 24 to 81 meters. But that is not all. In addition to the luffing jib, Tadano also offers configuration options for a fixed extension, and even a runner. Next crane, is Grove GMK 6400-1. The Grove GMK 6400-1, is the strongest heavy-duty six-axle crane on the market, with a self-rigging megawing lift. This crane has a maximum lifting capacity of 400 tons. GMK 6400-1, also has maximum main boom length is 60 meters, and maximum jib length is 80 meters, and with maximum hoist height is 136 meters. This crane is able to take on jobs, that would usually require a 7 or 8 axle model. This outstanding 400 tons all-terrain crane features an improved hydraulic system, with faster flow to provide quicker operating speeds, and even smoother movements. As an upgrade to the GMK 6400, its implementation of Mani Tawasi's CCS ensures that performance is optimized, and operation can be boosted to a whole new level. Furthermore, with the addition of MaxBase variable outrigger positioning, capacities on the main boom are increased. The GMK 6400, is powered by an 8-cylinder, water-cooled and turbocharged Mercedes-Benz OM502 L a diesel engine, which produces up to 405 kilowatts and a massive 650 liters fuel tank. It also comes standard with a state-of-the-art Megadrive system, cutting-edge Megatrack suspension, and a ZF as Tronic automatic transmission system. Next crane, is Liebherr LHM 800. The LHM 800, is the most powerful mobile harbor crane in the world. Owing to its huge dimensions, the crane handles large freighters, with a width of up to 22 rows of containers. LHM 800, has a lifting capacity of over 300 tons, the crane is particularly suitable for the handling of heavy industrial goods. The bulk cargo capacity of this giant is also unique at 2,300 tons per hour. This crane has a total weight of 742 tons, and maximum lifting capacity of 308 tons. The LHM 800, also has jib length of 64 meters, and maximum radius is 12 meters, with maximum load bulk is 90 tons. The LHM 800, is meets the ever-increasing demand for mobile heavy-duty cranes in the maritime sector. A key driver of this development is clearly the wind industry. In a special heavy lift version, the LHM 800 is capable of lifting weights of up to 308 tons, and up to 616 tons in tandem mode, with the intelligent Liebherr system Psychratronic. Next crane, is Tadano GTC 2000. The Tadano GTC 2000, has a maximum lifting capacity of 180 tons. The maximum boom length is 60 meters. The boom is a six-section full-power telescoping boom with four extension modes. The swing is a gear motor driving a planetary gear reducer with a shaft-mounted pinion, external gear shear ball slew bearing bolted to the superstructure, and the car body allows the superstructure to rotate 360 degrees. The IC1 Plus crane control system makes it possible to carry out lifts with asymmetrical track widths. The travel system provides skid steering and counter-rotation. The hydraulically operated outriggers on the GTC 2000, raise the base crane to a height of 3.3 feet, with a distance of around 13.1 feet, between the outriggers themselves. 
This means that low bed trucks with a wide variety of geometries can simply drive under the base crane and carry it to and from the worksite. Next crane is Liebair LR13000. The LR13000 is the most powerful conventional crawler crane in the world. One of its main areas of use is power plant construction. This requires the continuous hoisting of extreme component weights. These requirements apply in refineries, as well, where industrial columns weighing 1500 tons, and measuring 100 meters in length have to be erected. And what's more, with individual maximum weights of 70 tons, this gigantic crane can be transported at low cost throughout the world despite its size. The LR13000 has a maximum lifting capacity of 3000 tons at 12 meters radius, and maximum main boom length is 144 meters, and maximum hoist height is 236 meters including 126 meters luffing jib. This massive machine also have maximum radius about 200 meters. The LR13000 is the only crawler crane in this class, which can also operate without derrick ballast. This is made possible by a slewing ring which our engineers have developed, and which we manufacture in-house, featuring an extreme lifting capacity. Even the largest product in our portfolio can increase its lifting capacities using the power boom. Next crane is Zoom Lion ZAT24000H. Zoom Lion ZAT24000H has a maximum lifting capacity of 2,400 tons. This crane was especially developed for wind power hosting constructions, combining the advantages of robust lifting performance, ease of transportation and operation, as well as strong adaptability to a wide range of working conditions. It employs combined telescopic and wind power booms for wind power operation, which fully meets the installation requirements of wind turbines of 160 meters. Its long main boom plus short wind power boom combo, and integrated overloading make hoisting and disassembly or assembly more efficient. The model's high power hoisting system, with small magnification increase can achieve lifting wind turbine to 160 meters in 30 minutes. In addition, the ZAT24000H's special structure design features, the unique single-cylinder double-side pin boom structure with improved anti-side bending capabilities. The optimized rigid design of the continuous boom, an electro-hydraulic intelligent safety control system significantly increase the product's capacity for wind resistance and safety assurance. Next crane is XCMG XGC88000. XCMG XGC88000 is the world's largest crawler crane developed, with a record-breaking capacity of 4,000 tons, has once again set a new hoisting record on April 10, at the Shenghong Refinery Project construction site in Lianyungang, Jiangsu. Provinces it successfully completed the installation of 2,600 tons of tower equipment. The XGC88000, also is the world's number one crawler crane with CE Mark approved, has three internationally pioneering technologies, six world-leading technologies, and more than 80 national patents. The XGC88000 was a major breakthrough in the industry, and the first model to realize modular design for agile construction, helping China to overcome the long-term monopoly of foreign brands in the sector of super-tonnage cranes. The XGC88000 adopts design of three independent power units. Each power unit equips with 641 kilowatts US. Cummins engine with strong power, the spacious power box space is easy for maintenance and repair work. Each power unit acts as movable hydraulic power working station, and can work as power source during crane assembly, or disassembly process, to improve assembly efficiency. The three power units can work as spare power unit for each other. That all for today. Thanks for watching this video. See you next episode.